Hey guys, I wanted to show you some interesting and amazing things you can do within the Renaissance app after you have tested your students. You can create groups and find lessons for those students that need them. So from your Renaissance app, you will go to either Star Reading, Star Early Literacy, or Star Math. I'm going to choose Star Early Literacy and then you're going to click record book. Once a record book comes up, you're going to find at the top there is a spot that says manage groups. That's what you will click. From that screen you will find um, students that I have already grouped, but I'm going to go to create new groups just to show you how it works. So this pops up all the groups that I've already created. I'm going to click create groups. And I'm going to set the groups by benchmark. So I can do one group, I could do a second group, I could do a third group, and a fourth group, which most of us are used to doing at least four groups in our classrooms, so that's normally what I would do. I will go through and I will select which students need to be in the teal group based on probably their scores and how I know they perform, um, and lump them. Let's just say my teal group might be my high flyers. So for sure, I would put those students that were in the green or at the higher levels um, in my teal group. Um, in my purple group, I will go for the at benchmark folks um, and add them into that group, etc., etc. Um, in the below benchmark, that would maybe be my sky group, so I'll find the students that are low but not the lowest in the class um, and, and put those in that group. Um, and then once I get to orange, that, those will be my well below that need intensive. Um, this guy probably needs to come over here. Um, that need intensive help. So once I do that, I'm going to click save. But since I've already done it, I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to go back to my regular groups and show you what you can do with them. Planner. Okay, we can go to new plan from planner. We can select our students. And I'm going to do the first, and I'm just going to focus on my purple group right now. So I'll click purple and apply. And I'm going to go focus on reading. The week I'm going to do is from 9-9 to 9-13. And then I'm going to start planning for that group. Skills by recommendation are listed, so if I feel like this group um, really needed to know which direction readers move through text, or they didn't um, do well on developing basic print concepts or dif differentiating letters, um, whichever skill I feel like they needed the focus of, I'm going to click on. Um, the program actually recommends several. For those and how they tested, I'm going to go for name letters and recognize lower and uppercase forms. And then I'm going to click next, find resources. And there are several different resources available for these students. So you can preview them, make sure it's something that you um, feel is appropriate for those students. So we'll click preview for the first one and see what we have recommended. This is from University of Florida. It is um, ABC of Animals. 
And it looks like something you would have to teach in like a small group lesson. So there are resources here for you to use. Um, you can go ahead back to the actual plan and you can click add if you feel like that's something you wanted to concentrate on for those students. Um, if not, keep looking through. So let's click on Turtle Diary and see what that one looks like. Okay, this is more like a video for your class. So that would be something that um, I can also add to their plan. I also might just copy and paste this actual website and find those students and assign it to them in Google Classroom so that they can access it easier. Um, but we're going to go ahead and click Add and then we have to select a date. You can do, um, we'll start with Monday. Um, there's there's a ton of other resources on here you can choose from. Reading Rockets would probably be a great one. Let's look at that one real quick and make sure we don't want to add it as well. Uh, Reading Rockets is coming up. Oh, and that one's not working. So that wouldn't be one that I would want to assign to my students. Um, Rock and Learn Splash. Let's check that one out. Um... This is one, it looks like you are going to just want to print and assign. So some of them might be amazing and some of them might be ones you may not want to do. So I'm just gonna go for the one that I decided um, would be good to add to their Google Classroom. Um, and so now it shows that on Monday, um, they're going to be working on that video. Um, and we're going to test and see if this works in the Renaissance platform or if I do have to just assign things in their Google Classroom for it to give them that extra attention that they need. Um, and then we click Create Assignments in the purple group and Continue, and assignments are created. Um, so it's been scheduled for on Monday. And on Monday, I'm going to have those students log in and see if that works. I have also done some other planning already for an orange group. Um, and we'll be able to let you know by Wednesday's PLC if everything is working in the platform. Or if I had to pivot and just use the resources through Google Classroom or at my small group table teaching a lesson that is suggested through Renaissance. All right, I think this is um, a, another great resource and asset, and I hope you guys uh, find it helpful as well.